Mid Journey AI beginner questions answered. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? The first question is, is Mid Journey AI the best choice for me as a beginner? I would say yes. Even as an experienced user, Mid Journey is really great because it is very easy and intuitive to use. You don't have to set up any computer things or download files. It is very cost effective because you can create unlimited images with unlimited prompts, but also the output is aesthetically very pleasing and high quality. How do I subscribe to Midjourney and what subscription should I use? After you've joined the Midjourney Discord, here is the link, which is also below the video to click on. Go into trial support, type slash sub and then click on subscribe and hit enter. This will give you the open subscription page button. Click on that. Click on Yep. And here you are presented with two choices. There is also an enterprise plan, but you don't need the enterprise plan unless your business is earning more than $1 million a year. From these two choices, absolutely choose the $30 per month plan. It sounds a lot, but I can absolutely promise you, you will burn through the $10 plan in your first day. And after then you're back to zero and have to pay another $30. So choose the $30 plan right away because then you can use unlimited images, unlimited prompts. How do you get into a private chat with the Midjourney bot? Again, go to the Discord into the trial support chat room or any other chat room, right slash sub again, enter and then enter again. And when you see this message, don't click on the button this time. Instead, right click on the name of the Midjourney bot and click on message. If you have a paid subscription, this will automatically bring you into the private chat with the Midjourney bot and there you can start prompting. This is done by typing slash EMA, click on imagine and then you can write your prompt into this field. Once you've rendered your first prompt with Midjourney, you will see either one, two or four different variations of that prompt. Now below these images, you can see buttons. The U stands for upscale and the counting is left to right, up to down. So it goes one, two, three, four. The V stands for variation, which will create a new variation of that image with the same prompt. Now, if you turned on remix in your settings and you click on V, you get this pop up window and here you can change the text of your prompt. You can also just click on submit so it will use the same prompt to create a variation. Now keep in mind that this is still based on the image you have created before. So the changes might only be applied in a slight way or not at all. Experiment with that. Where can you find the Midjourney bot settings? Type slash set select settings and hit enter. Now you see a lot of colorful buttons in here. You can select here which version of Midjourney you want to use. Right now we have four different versions and then also we have the version test and test photo. Test and test photo are experimental and they sit between version three and version four. You can also set the quality here. I wouldn't suggest use half quality. Base quality is what you normally use and high quality takes double the time, but it gives you also better image quality. The style setting is something I would suggest you write by hand, but if you want to use it many times, you can simply click on that and style will give you more creative variations in your output. You have three different upscaling methods that give you different quality and a different aesthetic. So experiment with them and see what you get. Below that you have the public mode and the private mode. The private mode is only private in so far that it doesn't show your images in the community feed and on your profile, but also you have to pay extra for that. The remix mode is very useful because this allows you to remix images between variations. And down here you can choose between the fast mode and the relax mode. Now the fast mode uses your GPU time that will run out over time. But with the relax mode, you're not using your GPU time. So you can create as many images and use as many prompts as you want. 
So in most cases, you absolutely want to be in relax mode. Another thing as a beginner you absolutely want to check out is to write slash help. Hit enter and enter again. And you will see this post here with all the links. The most important for you is the user manual. Check that out. There's a lot of very good information in there. There's only a hand of different commands like minus minus S for style, minus minus AR for the ratio, minus minus Q for the quality. So once you've understood that, Midjourney is extremely easy and intuitive to use. Another pressing question is how can I use one or multiple images with my prompt? There are two methods for that. The first one is uploading the image to Discord. Click on the plus, click on upload file and then select the image you want to upload. Hit enter so the upload can start and once you have that image, click on it to see it bigger. Then right click on the image and select copy image address. Now go into the prompt method again. So slash EMA, select imagine and then paste this link in there. After that, you can write your prompt and hit enter to have it rendered. But here is the second method to get an image into Discord. Go to the image on the internet if this image is publicly available on the internet. Right click, copy image address, go back to Discord and then again in the prompt method, paste this in here and write the rest of your prompt. If you write nothing, it will try to combine these two images, but I would suggest for you to use version four of Midjourney. So write minus minus V, leave a space and then write four. Where can you find all of your Midjourney images, the community feed and the prompts of other users? For that, go to midjourney.com slash app you might be asked by Midjourney to sign in with your Discord account. When you click on home, this is your profile. These are all your images. When you click on community feed, you will see the images of everybody. These are the most popular images right now. When you click on them, you will see the use prompt below that. And if you want to use that yourself, you can either copy the prompt here or you click on these three buttons and there you choose copy and then full commands. The full command will not only include the prompt words, but also the prompt commands like for example, minus minus V4 for version four or minus minus S5000 for stylize 5000. When you click on personal feed, you will see the images of the people you follow on Midjourney. To follow someone in the community feed, hover over the image with your mouse and then next to the name of the user, click on the three dots and select follow. And finally, I want to absolutely suggest to you to check out the community feed often to see what kind of prompts are used and then also study the wording of the prompt and write them down, maybe in a Google document, maybe in a text file to make notes on the results of these words so you can increase your prompting skill over time. Let me know if you have any other questions about Midjourney. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.